2011. Uh, consider this lesson maybe 3.3, 3.2. We're doing over, we're going over right by sector. So on page 171 of your blue book, they've given us a triangle. ABC has these vertices. So A is at three and four. B negative five and two. And C is one and negative four. The question asks to determine an equation for GH, which is the right bisector of AB. So first of all, let's plot our points. Okay. So we're going to plot our point A. Uh, point A is at three and four. So we have our A. Point B is negative five and two. And finally, point C is at 1 and negative 4. There's our point C. So we create our triangle. Let's do it in red. We don't really know what type of triangle it is. But when we take a look at this question, they're going to be discussing a specific line on the triangle. Which one are they looking for? Do you guys remember? A, B. Okay, we need the right bisector of A, B. That means we're dealing with this line right here, A, B. Now, if I have to find the right bisector, what do I need to find first in this line, Sheldon? I've got to find the midpoint of this line. So we're going to use our midpoint formula. Go down. The x squared, or x, 2 plus x Yes. So midpoint. We went over this the other day. x2 plus x1, what's it doing? Divided by 2. I think that'll fix it. There you go. Sorry about that. y2 plus y1 divided by 2. Now remember, we're looking for line A, B. So like we always do, we're going to repeat the points right beside the equation so it's easy to plug in. That uh, was 3, 4, negative 5, 2. So 3, 4, negative 5, 2. We're going to call A R1 and B R2. So we have X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And we're going to plug it into our equation. I'm going to repeat what I said yesterday. This is two separate equations. Many of you guys combine this on the quiz to be just one. So our X2 is negative 5 plus x1, which is 3. It doesn't matter if you do it in reverse, right? doesn't matter if you do it in reverse. You'll still get the same coordinates. And we have y2 plus y1 over 2. So the coordinate for our line, or the midpoint of our line AB, we're going to have negative 2 over 2, 6 over 2. We'll get negative 1 and 3. So let's go take a look. According to our calculations, the midpoint of our line is negative, what do you say? 1 and 3. Negative 1 and 3. So negative 1 and 3, that falls about here. Oh, it's a little off. Out there. That looks about right. It's a logical answer. So we've got the midpoint of our line. But I'm looking for the right bisector. So I've got the first part. What's the next thing I'm going to have to figure out about this line AB? I'm looking for the right bisector. We don't need to do all of them? Nope. Just need to work with this one line right now. But I've got to find out about it in order to find a right bisector. Tomorrow. Okay, we got it. I got I need the equation of this line though. Okay, I'm gonna help you out. We definitely need the slope. Someone just said it. We need the slope of this line because we're finding the right bisector. So in order to do so, we're gonna have to find the slope of line A B, and we're gonna have to find the negative reciprocal of that slope in order to find our new equation of a line. So the next point. Let's go down here. 
Slope of a line. You guys need to remember this formula. You have to know it for the first test. We have our y2, subtract y1, over x2, subtract x1. Slope of line AB, OK? We're going to use the exact same coordinates. Oh, so that's, that's the slope formula? Yep, that's our slope formula. What were we, 3, 4, and negative 5, and 2? Yeah, I think that was right. OK? Exact same idea. We need to plug it in. That will give us the slope of our line AB. Once we have that slope, negative reciprocal. So just to show you it doesn't matter which way we order our points, we're going to call B our 1 and A our 2. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Everything will still work. So y2 is 4. Subtract y1 is 2. x2 is 3. Subtract x1 is negative 5. We equate this, we'll get 2 over, that says 3 plus 8, so 2 over 8. Our slope is 1 over 4. We reduce the fraction. So the slope of line AB is 1 over 4. That's great. I have a slope now. Negative reciprocal. What's the negative reciprocal of this line going to be? Uh, negative 4 over 1? That's right. So to find the negative reciprocal, we're going to flip the numbers, 4 and 1. And because technically this was a positive, we're going to change it to a negative. So we get negative 4 over 1 or just negative 4. That is our negative reciprocal. So for our perpendicular bisector or our right bisector, our slope is going to be negative 4. That's really nice. I got a slope. I got a midpoint. But the question asks me to determine the equation of GH, the equation. So I have to make an equation for this line now. I have a slope. Do I have a point on this line? What is it? The midpoint. What can I use to create an equation now? What little formula do we have before? Remember, we have three different ones, Daniel? Point-slope form. If we plug these into point-slope form, you guys remember our point-slope form? Point-slope form is our y subtract y1 is equal to m x subtract x1. OK? We have our m. It's our negative reciprocal of the slope of AB. We discovered it was 4. So that's our M. Our point. Our point was the midpoint. That is going to be a point on the line. We do know that. So our midpoint was negative 1 and, I want to remember, 3? I'll scroll up to make sure. Uh, negative 1 and 3. OK, good. So we have our point, negative 1 and 3. Because it's our only point, it's going to be our x1 and y1. So we have our point and we have our slope. We simply just have to plug things into our equation. So we have y subtract our y1 is 3. Our slope is negative 4. And our x1 is negative 1. So subtract negative 1. So let's just fix that a little. Now that we have these points, we're going to simplify. And when we write an equation of a line, what do we usually write in? What form? Y equals mx plus b. So once we've simplified this, I'm going to have to set this equation equal to y. So I'll have an equation of a line. So let's simplify here. I'm going to distribute. Well, actually, I'll bring this down. We still have y subtract 3 is equal to. I'm going to distribute this negative 4. So this is going to be negative 4x. And because this is a negative, negative, think of it as positive 1. So I distribute negative 4 to positive 1. I end up at negative 4. You now that one's a little confusing. There seems to be three negatives in there. Okay. Now that I've distributed, I need to just set this equation equal to y. So I'm going to move the negative 3 to the other side of the equation. 
y equals negative 4x minus 4 plus 3. We simplify. Our equation of our line is y equals negative 4x. Subtract 1. So I now have a slope, and we had that same slope before. So our negative 4 and our y-intercept is going to be negative 1. So we're at the bottom of this page. Copy that. I can't, unfortunately. The negative 1 is going to be, we scroll all the way back up here. Let's try to draw a straight line as perpendicular to that as possible. Apparently our y-intercept is going to be right here. So to graph a proper line now, I can just kind of connect my two dots. And that is going to be our right bisector to the line. So we found the equation of it. We found the slope. We had to find the midpoint of AB. We had to find the slope of AB. This question has quite a few steps to it, OK? I'll walk you through an order again. First of all, we found the midpoint of line AB. Then we found the slope of line AB. Once we had the slope of AB, we took the negative reciprocal. Once we had the slope right here, we took the negative reciprocal. Then we took our midpoint, which we had found. And we took our slope, our slope and our midpoint. We plugged them into our point-slope formula right here. And we found our equation of our line in our y equals mx plus b form. So our slope y-intercept form. Let's fix this. This line here is not supposed to go through positive 1. It's supposed to go through negative 1. You guys got to tell me if it looks like a right angle. I can't see from up here. I got to move back. There we go. Does that look more like a right angle? No. Oh, you're nuts. That looks like a right angle. Good. Thank you, John Mark. So I was supposed to go through negative 1, the y-intercept. So, pretty intricate question. Quite a few steps to this one. 